Hey everybody, it's Ian, the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Apple AirTags to track your quilt as it's making its way to and from quilt shows. It's a great way to keep track on it and make sure it's getting to its destination and back safely. It can be nerve wracking sending a quilt to a quilt show and I'm always a little nervous as I get those status updates from whatever shipper I am using because sometimes they're not up to date and things are actually in a different place than where it says it is. So it always helps to have an Apple AirTag, at least for me, give me a little peace of mind to know that it is on its way or exactly where it is as it's traveling along the journey to make it to that final destination. Now there are other devices that you can use such as the Tile, it does the exact same thing, but I like to stick with the Apple AirTag since I have all iOS and Mac devices and it works natively with those and so I find it quite easy to integrate it into what I'm already doing and using, so I choose the Apple AirTags but there are others that you can choose from. Now, Apple AirTags don't have GPS built into them. They don't use GPS themselves. What they actually do is they use other iOS devices and even Mac devices around it to give it an idea of the location that it's in. Because of this, if it is out in the middle of nowhere with no other iOS devices or Macs, it will not be able to tell you where it's at. However, the moment it comes into Bluetooth range of another iOS or Mac device, that's when it uses Apple's network to be able to tell where it's at. Also, if you're close enough to your own AirTag, you can use your iOS device to lead you and kind of direct you. It has an arrow that will direct you to that AirTag, so that way you can find items very quickly and easily. This really worked out when I went to the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show because there was so much ground to cover and so many quilts and everything. First of all, I was able to kind of get a general location for it on the map and then open up the Find My app on my phone. And as I got closer, it directed me straight to where my quilt was and I was able to find it pretty easy. A great real world use. You can go into a quilt show if you have a quilt in the show and find out exactly where that quilt is. It's also great in case the quilt becomes lost, you can mark that air tag as lost. And then if somebody comes across it and finds out that there's an air tag inside of it, they can use their iOS device to get in contact with you and hopefully help reunite you with your quilt. Now for legal reasons, I do need to say, do not use the Apple air tags inside of quilts to track people. That is very illegal and not the way that the air tag should be used. You should only be using the Apple air tag to track your quilt as it goes to and from a quilt show. Do not use it to track people. That is not okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the air tags themselves, and then I'll show you how I put an air tag behind my quilt label so I can send it off to a show. You can purchase air tags in different ways. You can order them as a single air tag, or you can buy a pack of four. As you can see here, I did buy a pack of four. This is one that came out of this pack of four. But um, you can purchase them in different ways and you can also customize them as well. I chose not to customize these uh, whenever I purchased them, but uh, you can get them personalized. Um, sometimes I'll have my name on it. Uh, sometimes you can put emojis. It's really whatever you wanna do uh, and however you want to customize it if you want it customized at all. The important thing is whenever you're working with an AirTag, when you take it out of the package, you'll notice that there is a uh, film on it and there's even an arrow. Make sure to remove this film from your AirTag whenever you take it out of the package. And of course, you'll need to link it up onto your phone. The instructions to do that are all over YouTube and even here inside the packaging as well. You can link it up to your iPhone. You must have an iOS device like your iPhone. There has been a couple of times where I've sent my quilt to a show and I couldn't keep track of it as it was traveling from my location to the quilt show. My guess is that it might have gotten buried in the center of an 18-wheeler or the UPS truck or FedEx or whatever, whoever is taking it where it needs to go. I feel like sometimes they get buried in the center of the truck and so because there's so much other packages and other materials around it, it's not able to basically ping an iOS device and so it doesn't update and it might go for a couple of days where I don't hear from it uh, and then suddenly it will pop back up on the map and I love being able to keep track of my quilt that way. 
Whenever you're adding an air tag into your quilt, the first thing that you're gonna need is a quilt label or even just a piece of scrap fabric for the quilt. Uh, I have put a label on this quilt. This is my Piazza quilt. And I like to put my labels in the corner so that way it forms a little pouch on its own. I have secured it underneath the binding and whenever I put the binding on, but I like little pouch so that way I only have to hand sew one of the sides instead of having to go around all four sides. But if you do uh, end up putting a label on using kind of the more traditional method or uh, the method of putting a piece of fabric on the back like a rectangle or a square, uh, you'll need to sew three of the sides, leaving one of the sides open so that way you can slip the air tag inside of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my air tag. I'm just gonna to place it right in the corner and then I'm going to go ahead and get my needle and thread ready to close up the pouch. Okay I've gotten my needle ready and have attached. It's not going to be able to see it on the camera because it's white but I have gotten my thread ready. I've put a knot in the end of my thread and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do some hand sewing across the top of this label and I'm going to make sure that I'm only getting the um, back of the quilt. I don't want to catch the front of the quilt as I'm hand sewing. It's just like whenever you're putting on the binding on a quilt, you don't want to catch the uh, front of the quilt as you're putting that binding on the back using the hand sewing. So I'm just going to quickly run a stitch across the top using any method of, I, I don't know all the names of the stitches, but you can use any method that you want to uh, attach that uh, seam across the top of the quilt. Oops, and I missed the backing there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and run a quick stitch across the top here. Okay, there we go. I have gone ahead and run that stitch across. You don't have to be super perfect with it. It's just something to tack it down and keep it in place so that way the air tag won't fall out. So your stitches just need to be small enough that the air tag, which is housed in this pocket, uh, you can feel it underneath here, uh, it just needs to be small enough so that way the air tag can't slip out or fall out whenever it is getting folded or moved or transported. Another important thing to remember is you don't want to wash this quilt with the air tag in it because that will, of course, destroy the air tag. Water and electronics do not mix, as I'm sure many of you know. So uh, make sure if you want to keep your air tag intact that you take it out of this pocket if you do need to wash your quilt. Since my show quilts are usually never washed, I don't have to worry about that, so I don't have to be too concerned with pulling it out for that, but I do need to keep in mind that I do need to take it out and change the battery, usually about once a year. I find that the air tags uh, usually last for about a year, and then I need to replace them. So uh, I will need to get back into this pocket again, and that's why I kind of use uh, a stitch that's just small enough that it's not going to come undone easily, but I don't make them teeny tiny stitches. That way I can use my seam ripper, get it opened up again, get that pocket opened up again, and that way I can pull the air tag out and replace the batteries. All right, we're gonna play pretend for just a second. I'm not actually gonna apply this label onto my quilt, but I wanted to show you what would happen if you had a rectangular label that you wanted to apply to your quilt. What I would do is I would sew down both of these sides and across the bottom using that hand stitch. And then leaving the top open, you can take your air tag and slip it underneath the label and then sew across the top to close it in. It doesn't add very much bulk onto the back of the quilt at all, and it's not even noticeable from the front side of the quilt. So uh, it makes for a really nice little pocket to keep that air tag in without much notice. Uh, I have not had any judges ever notice that there was an air tag inside of my quilt, so I've never gotten a comment on that. And uh, if you're worried about it showing through or showing up whenever you're putting it inside the quilt, uh, I have not had a problem with that. 
So there you go. That's how I like to add the Apple AirTag on the backside of my quilt label. It's a great way for me to keep track of that quilt. And then in the app, I like to name that AirTag the same thing as my quilt or some kind of reference to that quilt. So I know which, which AirTag is in which quilt and where it's going and all the tracking details. Now for me, this is more about peace of mind. It's not necessarily going to prevent my quilt from being lost, but it gives me a little peace of mind that the shipper is telling me the truth on where the quilt is, when it is getting there, etc. It could still get lost and there's no guarantee that I'll get my quilt back, but at least I'll have more information on where it's at to give to the police or the shipper or lots of different ways that that information could help. It's not like I can go to that place and search it down myself, but maybe it will at least help me pinpoint it a little better so that way there's a higher likelihood that it might get recovered. If you want to find out more about Apple AirTags or the Find My app, make sure to check out the Apple YouTube channel or there's plenty of other videos and information about Apple AirTags across the internet that you can check out. Use your favorite search engine and look for Apple AirTags and I promise you, you're going to find a lot of information that can help answer your questions. Also remember that I'm only using the Apple AirTags for show quilts. I'm not using them in my home or for quilts that are just going to be using quilts, loving quilts as I like to call them. I only put these into show quilts so that way I can keep track of them. I hope this video gives you a little inspiration in case you're entering your quilts into quilt shows and want a way to give a little more peace of mind as it's making its travels. I definitely find it very helpful and I hope you do too. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, let YouTube know that you like my video. And then of course, if you'd like to see more like this, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate you subscribing and checking out my other content. Thanks for joining me today. And remember guys, normal is just a setting on the dryer. Bye.